Cape Town residents affected by gangsterism want police to do more to stem the resurgence of violence in their communities. The DA-led government in that province uh, says the police minister is actually too obsessed with patrolling the beaches. Instead, it says he should be getting a grip on gang-related crime in the city, which has spiked again since the start of this new year. Here's Lindsay Dentlinger with the full story. A notorious neighborhood where gangsters control the streets instilling fear in all who live in Lavender Hill. Four people were killed here on New Year's Eve, including a two-year-old child. There was uh, some gang violence five days ago, which resulted in the, one of the gang leaders being shot by, the, by another rival gang here in Lavender Hill. So we are out here today as a councillor. I'm here to support them and to encourage them. And while retaliatory violence was expected, this patrol takes place on a quieter day. But the Metro Police's gang and drug task team aren't taking anything for granted. The cave flats are a problem in Cape Town. Albert called it a systematic problem because it is deep rooted, gang violence is deep rooted there. And I would like to encourage even communities to work with Metro Police, law enforcement, traffic all our services in the city of Cape Town, give us information. But the city's also slammed Police Minister Becky Kele for not doing more to root out gangsterism. I want to call on the National Minister, Beko Kwaake Hamilton, to, to stop his obsession uh, of going to the Cape Town uh, coastal beaches. This is where you would like to see the minister in the gang infested areas. But for now, the new year here is starting just like the old one ended. Lindsay Dentlinger. Cape Town.